Welcome to the channel. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the obvious, but I am in a different room than my last few videos. And that story is coming, so to speak. Anyway, this video is about me making a military shadow box out of a bass drum. So here we go. As you can see, I'm pulling down a bass drum and I just get right to taking all the hardware off of it. I'm not sure what type of bass drum this is. I got it from a dude on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, that was a nasty pillow. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Flip it over, camera angles. Removing all the hardware here so I can cut this down. I'll show you what I mean here in a second. Bust out the old table saw here and I basically measured from the edge of the shell, from the bearing edge to where the porthole is, and I'm going to cut it right there. So I also cut off the other bearing edge and about a three quarter of an inch piece with the porthole included and I'll show you why. I line it up on a piece of plywood and cut it out to fit. Make a little notch for future wiring. Just give it a little sand down so I don't cut myself and then I'm cutting this ring you can see the porthole I'm basically fitting it so it'll fit inside the bass drum like that that way I can add it to the back side of the bass drum and then glue it in place and you saw the LED lights but essentially why I did this is so I had an area to mount LED lights around the edge without being visible then after that dried, I put some glue in there and then took that piece of plywood, shoved it in there. And I noticed that it's warped a little bit, so I end up taking it out in the garage and putting some weight on it and letting it sit overnight. Next morning, there it is, take the weight off. It's all glued together. And this right here, yeah, fancy snap transition. I end up doing two layers of cork and that's so I can push my ribbons and decorations and stuff like that into it and then I add some some white LED lights to the inner perimeter perimeter and then run the wire through and that's why I kept the porthole Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm adding Velcro to the entire inside. That way I can stick anything Velcro to it, obviously. If you're not exactly sure how to get the proper amount of material to fit the whole inner perimeter of the bass drum, same thing goes with the wrap that will come along. So you take the round. No, no. You take the girth. In order to get the circumference of the bass drum, you take the diameter times by pi, you should have your answer. Oh, music, music right away. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here I am wiping down the outside with alcohol and basically marking the center. And there is the 3M wrap. I will link all this stuff in the description below. Yeah, and I attempt using the, that soft thing and then... Yep, 
yes, squeaky, squeaky, Crown Royal bag ends, ends up working very well. If you take your time on this, Yeah, you can see that long hair in the way. Yeah, and then I go back and mark center again, take a square and cut it off. Boom. Cut the excess off the back here. And then you take a, you know, a heat gun or whatever you have and work out any wrinkles. In hindsight, I think I would have kept the wrap going over that edge that I added to it. It's important to scrape off labels <laughs> before you put stickers over them. Same thing here. I used the Crown Royal bag because it's soft, then found my halfway point and tore that off. It's a little tiny mistake and then cut off the excess. At this point, I was sick of, you know, being on the floor. <laughs> so I set up a table finally. <laughs> Here's all the hardware. You'll notice it's a couple short because I thought it was an eight lug, but it's actually a 10 lug. Yeah, I clean all that crap up so there's no fingerprints and smudges and stuff. And this right here is a Ofna body hole reamer for reaming holes in plastic bodies for RC cars. I will also link that thing in there, but I found that it works great for reaming out holes. If you use a drill bit, sometimes the drill get, bit gets a little too aggressive and might blow out the other side. And then at this point, I'm just reinstalling the hardware Now obviously I have a whole half of a bass drum left over and I'm looking for ideas on what to do with it. I can make a shelf out of it. I was thinking about making some pan drums. We'll see, I need, uh, let me know in the comments what do you think I should do with the other half of that bass drum. Here we go, here are the LEDs. As you can see, that extra little piece that I glued in where the porthole was, I ended up making that wider. And you can cut these LEDs to length, which is really nice. Yeah, here I am just installing the LEDs. But you can see how there's a little bit of wood showing. And if I would have wrapped that red and blue wrap around it, that wouldn't be visible. But that will be up against a wall anyway, so you shouldn't see it. And here I am just putting some screws in the back. So I have a way to hang this thing up on the wall if I choose to. Again, I'll link this in the description, but this is just a picture hanging wire and it works very well. This thing is probably only 20 or 30 pounds. It'll hold just fine. Oh, more music. And there it is. And I basically just took the back of one of my, what are they called? I don't know, the new uniform. See, I'm losing it already. Yeah, that little happy face there, that's actually one of my access badges, an old one. And I'm not supposed to film that sort of thing, so that's why it was blocked out. But yeah, I took the back of one of my uniforms, cut it to fit, and here, you know, I kind of got it, started getting things laid out where I thought they may need to go. And there's that other piece that I cut off that's the opposite bearing edge. I basically cut that to fit to cover up the outside edge. Yeah, snap transition. That's kind of the look I started going with. A few things in there are just placeholders because I didn't have everything I needed. And this is like a really old Remo pinstripe. I say it's really old. I think I bought this for my first drum kit. So we're talking 1995, maybe 97, somewhere in there. Late 1900s, as the kids say. Added this white ring you can kind of see the theme I'm going for now and putting the spurs back on 
And there it is. So fancy, schmancy. I got an old crew chief book. Get some uniform setup stuff. Somewhere there's a weapon school graduate that lost a patch from his uniform. It might have been tactically acquired at some point. That is it. I mean, I didn't maintain playing the drums through my entire military service, but definitely the last seven years or so, I've been back at it. I think it's fitting that I took an old bass drum and turned it into a shadow box. Until the next video, thanks for watching, and I will see you in that next video. Goodbye. Ah! <laughs>